I was hoping the Suka Blias would keep playing, but even it didn't want that to happen. I'm glad you were on first Information I get was what I get to leave with tonight. <laughs> Alright. I think I probably have enough to chop up into an intro. Please don't use that last bit. Oh, it's gonna go in there. Oh, fuck. This is why I remind everybody, microphones are open. If you see a microphone, assume that it is hot recording. Ugh. Ooh, lettuce burps. Yep. Tasty, delicious, healthy lettuce burps. We're ready to do this, comrades. No. All right. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode 221 of the Camcast. Yay. Oh, yes, the podcast that is enjoying air conditioning. You're damn right, and it's wonderful. Yep, I even turned it down. Oh, oh, oh. oh yes. Oh, surprisingly nice quiet, Dave. Here. I'm surprisingly funny today. Thank you. I appreciate it. So Dave was surprisingly quiet, and I fixed it. Oh, well, okay. But then. you are surprisingly funny as well, so I appreciate you. Aw. Is that what she appreciates about me? I appreciate that she makes everything plurals. <laughs> I like them when they're seen, not heard. <laughs> well, I like being left on red, too. <laughs> oh, uh, maybe unmuting Dave might be the, 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 the solution we, we require. Wow. <laughs> you were muted like that first little bit. That's great. Fuck you, Zach. That was surprisingly loud. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> Am I getting hit with, like, multiple microphones here? I think he might be, so what would that be? One, two, three, four. Turn, yeah, mute six. Do you want to give me some talking? We're talking. No, no, the, no, the other, other mic. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, shit, I want to be stereo today. <clears throat> what? As it Damn falls it. off the... Zach! A thing none of us needed. Good we, job. All right, just gently put it down. While you do that, I'm going to do the introductions like I should have been doing a while ago. I am Mike, dear leader, doc taste, leader of men, herder of cats... Man who's wondering why why we're doing this. I know exactly why we're doing this. Uh, he knows why we're doing this. He's also sweaty. Oh, <laughs> it is the one, the only, the professor of the ghetto arts. Your mine, our uncle radical. Uh, somebody who calls him daddy is not here and doesn't really appreciate me saying that. But you know what? <laughs> it's sticking. She ain't here to defend herself. So <laughs> uh, we call him Scoots. It's Dave Raleigh. I'm a base model <laughs> with crank windows <laughs> and a tape deck. Aww. They still somehow called me an XL. <laughs> Thanks, Nissan. Uh, <laughs> sit, wow. Sitting at the end of the table, man and his knobs like he does. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Fiddle with him. Twist him. Wouldn't, wouldn't he be? Me. Look at me. If I'm a base model, wouldn't he be like a Laramie or like an SR5? The fuck did I do to become an SR five? YouTube ads, Jesus. Is, 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 is it my oversized the, weight? He's the fleet special. <laughs> no deluxe. Wrong with that. Why did we go from base to fleet? Like what? Uh, <laughs> so that's the, the, I have more cup holders. Is what you're trying to say? You're the colonel. You're the good colonel Eddie Dean himself, chair of the boards. You're Zach Lords. Yeet. Yeet. Uh. Wow. Hello. <laughs> Hello. And joining us. Hello. Hello. <laughs> joining us fresh from a, an exclusive tour of the Far East. It is. Middle a, East? No. 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 Um, it, it, the Far East movement? Like the band? Exactly. That's where he was. He was a <laughs> Try just a little bit harder, Zach. We're all waiting for it. <laughs> He's just dunking on Zach left and right. <laughs> I do love Zach to death, I promise. No, you don't, you asshole. <laughs> It's Joey. I shake because I love. <laughs> Stabby ass Joey. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you, so, so sir. how's that G6 you were on? The what? Do, do you fly like a G6? Oh, no. Uh, I'm going to go at Terrible American stuff. Shanky, no shanking. I'm going to go ahead and just stop this <laughs> with, right now. Before with an aisle going. seat and a beeline straight for the shitter. <laughs> if you're enjoying what you're hearing, just let us know on social media. We are at Cam Automag on all of them. If you're just randomly coming across this, thanks for doing that. Feel free to uh, give us a subscribe and a, a like and a review and all that stuff. Anywhere you get your podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play. And hey, if you really like this, you know what you can do? You can show us Share how much you... <laughs> Okay, how many filters should I put on my face? Okay, this thing's, this thing's eat. <laughs> we can Listen, give if you're you getting alcohol, if you want some more, does that help? Oh, I don't I, need any of that. That's 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 negative. Filters. We have we don't want that. We have that's bottom. when the racial slurs start happening. Nobody okay, then. That. All right, good to know. I want to get drunk with Joey now. Jeez, All right, it's a good well, time. Anyway, if you really like what's going to show us love the most American way by giving us money, 
Make, make it's true. Patreon.com slash Cam Auto Mag. Yep. You can. And then an endorsement deal. It's true, though. Damn right. And you can spawn with your donations for as little as a dollar and as much as 15 grand. Five dollars a month, though. That's the ticket. Really hoping we get that one 15 grand a month, dude. I, I mean, I will fly them out here. No, they're going to fly themselves out here because they have 15 grand to throw away on this. Okay, fair. Valid. <laughs> Which, I mean... So, so if we get 15 grand, can we all just quit our day jobs and just do this for full time? I mean, what, that's 15 grand divided by... Three of us? That's five grand a month? Yeah, we could probably do that. Well, I, I, say, I mean, I, fuck, I, that's I, over I, twice what I make. I, yeah. I, I'd be happy to take, <laughs> take three grand a month. And just fucking give the rest to Cam. It's like, let's go do shit. Okay. So if you give us fifteen grand a month, we'll go do shit. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Should be our motto. Or you know, you could start by just giving us five bucks a month, and that gains you access to the Cam Shenanigans shit posting page on yep. Facebook. That's where we post all of our our unique content, our extra stuff. Uh, we even of the week. Yeah, exactly. We, yeah. we give it all to you guys. And once we hit the two hundred dollar a month tier. You will get to see this live. Yeah. As we record it. You live and bastards. unfiltered. It's true. We're going to be live streaming this once we hit $200 a month. We're uh, getting there. Only the cam uncut. shenanigans. Live and uncut. We're $27 away, folks. Exactly. Only you can make this happen. Mm. Don't make me fucking release a 12-hour PBS telethon-esque thing <laughs> where we tease shit but never get to it. And it's me begging you for money. I'll fucking do it. Offering you a $300 tote bag. I will. I mean, yeah, I'm in. All right. I'll do it. I'll be there. There we go. Fucking telethon this shit. Ain't nothing makes me want to spend money like seeing Queen Latifah get sentimental. <laughs> Damn. All right. Well, uh, yeah, I didn't bother looking up birthdays or anybody to show. Oh, I do want to get... So, I don't think anybody who has... walled the fuck out of that. <laughs> we, we, we Trent's Merry birthday today. Oh, yeah. It is Trent's birthday. We should, we should <laughs> happy, birth- him out. happy birthday to the shadowy billionaire himself. Exactly. Hey, yeah. Trent, if you listen to this, remember... I remembered you, but no one else did. And remember, he also remembers that you owe him a lunch. Yeah. Uh, I didn't remember that. Pepper's also, Farm remembers. By the way, that asshole didn't respond to my happy birthday that I sent him. I mean... He didn't even look at it. <laughs> he didn't even leave you on read? No, he didn't even read it. Wow. I said happy spawn day. He was active five minutes ago, that so asshole. Di- so disrespectful. I love it. It's beautiful. Keep that shit happening. <laughs> this is why we started this website together. <laughs> <laughs> For these emotional moments we have together. Yep. Oh, man. Uh, no, his, uh, his lovely wife, Suzanne, posted some, some very fun, sentimental stuff on uh, on Facebook. You know, mm-hmm. about how he's a great father and holder of the priesthood and all that stuff. Uh, meanwhile, I'm just like, hey, do you remember that time we watched al- almost watched a guy die in an S2000 and we slept <laughs> in your fucking Viper that tried to kill me? Credit where credit is due, though. That fucking beard. Yeah. Dude. Oh, he's shit. Yeah. He's, he's pulling that, off. That, that beard is sharp. Yeah. Hell yeah. Liking that. He is doing some fucking work with the facial hair. That is some steez right mm. there. Dude. And you guys wonder why he's got a bunch of kids. Look at that man. <laughs> Just look at him. <laughs> All these years, <laughs> I never knew there was a massive beard hiding under that, that wonderful face. I knew there could be. I knew it had potential. Just needed a little coaxing and some wax. Beer brought to you by Hustle Energy. <laughs> Damn right. Hustle that Hustle shit. Hustle. Hustle hard, fool. Trademark. All right. Um, I do want to say shout out to Sally McNulty. She set a record on her birthday weekend. At, oh, uh, nice. Yeah, Global Time Attack. So Nice. Shout out to her. Very cool. And shout out to the Nomads. They got a new truck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thing's fucking tight. Yeah. We are going to see them at SEMA. Yep. Yes. It's going to be awesome. Excellent. Anyway, yeah, uh, didn't bother looking up birthdays, so sorry if you're having a birthday and we're just ignoring it. Um, we're personally ignoring you is what we're saying. I do want to say happy birthday to uh, Derek and Jen's new kid, Derek oh. and Jen Waltoff. Yeah. Yep. Had their new, had had their son. Very nice. In the, I got to pull up this fucking picture of the, uh, the it's like the birthing emotional support team. Just some cardboard cutouts that they had in the... Oh, boy. Yep. Let me just pull this up real quick, because it was quite the... Quite the dream team. Oh, first off, uh, the kid's name is Wynn. Very nice. Wynn Derek Waltoff. Mother and baby are doing fine. Excellent. Excellent. So... Merry birth, Miss Little One. Yes, indeed. Ah, yes. Here we go. Let's see it. Let's see it. There you go. There is the... uh, the dream team. <laughs> it's so presidential. 
Hello, Will Ferrell, Bob Ross, and Donald Trump. Good to meet you. I don't know if I'm in the corner, but yep. uh, you're, you're welcome to. There we go. So, wonderful. Very nice. Congratulations to them. Well, all right. The hell are we? Um, yeah. Okay. Good news! Huh? I mean, we can do some catching up real quick. Yeah, we can. Have we done anything of note? Yeah. Uh, no? I, I drove a cool car. Uh, I, no. Nope. Okay, <laughs> I've done, I've done, I've done absolutely nothing. <laughs> month. All right, well, even if you have, we're we'll gonna save it for fucking next. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just hold your fucking horses there, pal. Just fucking holding on to them. I something damn. cool. They rowdy though. Do you know what I did that was cool? What'd you do, Zach? I played D and D with my friends on a podcast. Yeah, which we're calling Nerding for Beginners. And <laughs> I'm so sorry. I mean, <laughs> no, don't. We oh, did a thing. Oh, don't worry, Joey. What if you listen to this slide? You'll understand why you should not feel sorry for Zach at all. No, there is no sorrow over. here. I get fucked over. Uh, I almost got my balls shot off, by the way. Yes, you, yes, you did. Does anybody want a beer? I want some chicken. Yeah, sure. Surprise yeah, me. Beer I mean, if you want a beer, you're going to have to go all the way downstairs. There's hard lemonade and there's a couple of... Uh, the pineapple ales. Anyway, so... Yeah, we did we did the D and D thing. It's called Nerding for Beginners. Uh, it's gonna have its own feed probably this week. So we'll we'll make note of it and then we'll stop talking about it. So yep. sound like a plan? Ooh. Cool. All right. What are we doing? Making note of the new podcast. That we're oh, got called it. Nerding for Beginners. And yeah, yeah, I that gotta, I got to show you two specifically a, a thing that I wrote today oh, about boy. it. Ooh. I basically wrote a, a frequently asked question about it. Just so I could kind of have a direction for this damn thing. I like the FAQ. <laughs> as, oppo- yeah. as opposed to, you know, Cam, which has really just been a whole lot of playing it by ear, <laughs> winging it. <laughs> how I mean, we're really good at that, though. How it survived a decade, I do not know. We're just that good. <laughs> or lucky, whatever. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Better lucky than good. Right. Yeah. Anyway, been moving a part on. of this for what, like seven years? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Eight years now. <laughs> Quite a while. <laughs> coming on a year. Oh, um, man. But, but speaking of coming on a year, I need to get new swag. Yes, you do. Where can I find new swag? Uh, the only official place to get your Cam Auto merchandise. It is camautoswag.com. Do they carry hats? Yes, we do. Bags? Yeah. yeah. Shirts? Uh-huh. Baby totes? Baby totes? I, don't, I, I mean, they like don't to- have baby totes, but they have regular person-sized totes. <laughs> tote I, bags. Sure. Holy yeah, that shit, works. that is exactly the size of tote I was looking for. Yeah, Good. convenient. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. There you go. They're amazing. Where uh, can I go buy these? I, I was thinking, like, like, <laughs> in my head, I was thinking, like, diaper bag, tote, <laughs> oh, and, and the word that came out was baby tote. <laughs> baby tote. I love it. I love how your mind works, Zach. Yeah. Never change that. I'll try not to. <laughs> it's all right. All that is available over at camautoswag.com. Uh, support us. Look good while you do it. Yep. Uh, anyway, on to the news. The news. The news. Good news. Good news, everyone. Yep, we're getting the RS6 Avant. Hey, Zach, did you know we're getting the RS6 Avant? No way, really? Does it make uh, 628 horsepower? The fuck makes it quite is? a bit of horsepower. 591. Oh, also, the at thing doesn't work, by the way. Blink. What? For me, the link doesn't work for me. Oh, well, that sucks. It works for me, so... I get a redirection notice. That's Ha-ha, great, chump. Hey, there you go. Uh, yep. 500, 591 horsepower. 590 pound-feet of torque. 4 liter twin turbo V8. Hey, if one more person in my friend group sh- shares this fucking post on their Facebook feed, I will murder them. Yep. So, there we go. That's a thing. Don't that... look at me like that. <laughs> I'm not sure what else hey, we Zach. could... If you tag hey. me... Hey! 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 I just... I really <laughs> like that it's got a 4 liter twin turbo V8. Yep. It looks it's just damn good. Yeah, it looks good. It Can I see a picture of it, pretty please? No. There's a side profile. Dan. Yeah. Yep, so looks like a new car. So there we go, folks. That is... Uh, is, this, is it's going to last for like three years and then go yeah. away because it's, yeah. it's a not new bad, product. Huh? Not bad. Oh, yeah. Not bad. Anyway. Yeah, we've probably already heard this to death, so we're not going to beat this dead horse. Yeah. I, I look forward to a, tr- um, a road, road test, and that's about it. It's going to be interesting once you start seeing them in the wild. Is there is there a price tag on it yet? Uh, a lot, one forty or one sixty or some bullshit it's like that. Something obscene. It's it's probably not going to be that crazy. Let's be real. You don't think so? I, I the 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 whole um, luxury sport wagon market is becoming a thing. It, it's I'm aware. Well, I'm not part of it, but I'm aware. Yeah, the Luxbo wag is really taking off right now. Yeah, Luxbo wag. 
Lexpo. I, okay, Lexpo I, 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 I will bet 130. 130 for a decently option car. Ba- base, like, ba- base will start at... You really think so? I think Because, I mean, when the RS7 debuted, it was just over 100. Was it? Yeah. Hmm. And yeah. that was only a handful of years ago. Well, what yeah, does they... Yeah, but now, like, a good, like, RS7 with, like, the boxes you want ticked is definitely, like, 110. Yeah, exactly. So I would not the... expect an RS6 to be that much. I think they I... they intend to sell this car. What's the uh, what, what's the price tag for, like, a well-optioned um, Pan American Gran Turismo, whatever the fuck they... I don't know, actually... I think if you like tick all the boxes, like you're over two. Be because of those, of, because but I think I think you can have, have like, like like the GTS packaging and get more power out of them and stuff as well. Sure, yeah, and and but that's what's competing with is the more powerful because I I I bet we will get an RS six or or an S six of Vaunt as well. Well, if we're getting an RS six, we're yeah. definitely going to get the trickle down. We're going to get yeah. an S six yeah. and yeah, then so a redesigned. So, so I'm, I'm yeah. thinking. I think in the top of the line is going to be like one thirty. Hmm. Yeah, I mean that. that I mean, it'll be a. I think it's going to be around whatever like a nicely equipped RS7 will be. So, you know, because it's it's its partner car it, basically. It, it's a lot like it. Anyway, yeah, pricing and details oh, are yet to come. Of course, as Zach drops his phone on the table, rip headphone users. Yeah, sorry. Anyway, and it wasn't that loud. So, you guys ever wanted to see Richard Hammond and one of the lesser known MythBusters stuck on a desert island? Oh He's boy, howdy! Not a lesser known. If it was that, that blonde girl, maybe. I mean, listen, there were there <laughs> she were was definitely not lesser known in my tissue box. Tell you what, hey, oh, boy, howdy! Oh, wow, you ain't low wrong. hanging fruit. You ain't Fuck wrong. me. I mean, there were definitely two hosts and three other people. No, I mean, no, no, no. There, there was Jamie Hyman, Am Savage, which was the MythBusters, and then the Build Team, which was Carrie Byron, Grant Imahara, and. Uh, as I almost Tori say, James made, as I almost say, Belici. James made for some fucking reason. God damn! Uh, wow, I was on God one, and damn. then I fucked it all up. Anyway, I, I'm sorry. Do, do you know your Mythbusters lore? There's Dude. lore. Please tell me there's a canon, <laughs> and that half of it has been retconned by Disney. Please tell me that's a thing. Please, please, Zach. <laughs> Do you want to read my fan fiction? Because I can pull it out right I, now. I really do want to read your fan fiction. <laughs> All right, episode 222. Give we're reading Zach's <laughs> Mythbusters fan fiction. As I Google Mythbusters fan fiction. God in heaven. I... Oh, Adam Savage, senpai. Oh, no. Anyway, uh, Amazon has some good news for you if you want to see Richard Hammond and Tori Balachi survive on a desert <laughs> did just, island. Did it just hurt you, Dave? <laughs> I think you did. I'm going to keep moving. I need a moment. Oh, God, there's some real ones here. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm going to read this as my intro next Oh, uh, Thursday. Christ almighty. Um, yes, Amazon has greenlit a six-part series where Tori Balachi and Richard Hammond survive on a desert island. I can think of no other people who are only only minorly American. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for an American show. Yep. So <laughs> Yeah, because they both take the boxes of being... Almost American. I mean, well, to be fair, Tori was born here in the U.S. Yeah, he is, he is a U.S. citizen. So, Prime Video UK is calling the show a new shipwreck pop science show set on a desert island. O- okay, do they have a name for it, or is that the name? Please no, tell there me that's is the name. There is no name as of yet. It's like the name of a mid two thousands emo band. It's yeah, you know, where three sentences. <laughs> it's like all those Panic at the Disco albums, where it's like paragraphs for song titles. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? That's apparently a block of text that is trying to be a Mythbusters fan fiction. No, you're wrong. Anyway, it's a Mythbusters Harry Potter fan fiction. Oh dear God, save me from Close the, the app. world, please. Close the app now. <laughs> I, I pray for the sweet embrace. It's of death. time to stop. Knife blocks in the kitchen. Where are your parents? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Anyway, I'm, this one's not sexual, by the way. It's about vampires. I mean, we could fucking make it sexual. <laughs> give me five minutes. All I need is a bunch of glitter and a bunch of t-shirts that say Team Edward. Uh, Done. But, but apparently, uh, Grant is driving a '67 Impala that just, just pulled into the parking lot. Okay, I'll stop I'm gonna, reading this. By the way, I mean you can keep reading it. You just need to mute your mic so I can kind of keep this train wreck a rolling. 
trying to find the excerpt for Thursdays. Okay, you, you do that. You, you do you, boo. So where were we at here? Uh, I was going to read a quote from Hammond about the show. Walking okay, you my, should do that. Walking myself away from the noose. <laughs> Somebody needs to take a hold of popular science as a genre and reinvent it for a new age. And there are only two people to do that job. Unfortunately, neither of them are available, so it's me and Tori Belici. Okay. Yep. That's pretty well, fitting. Uh-huh. So... And uh, Jalopnik does want to remind you that Richard Hammond did kill a McLaren 720S because he poured water into the gas tank. Like, a lot of water into the gas tank. What was this? What's the story? This was a while ago. <sighs> okay. I, I mean... I find myself really not giving a shit yeah. about any of that, anyway. honestly. Well, how about, like, two corporate titans suing the shit out of each other? That I do give a fuck about. Bring it on, baby. <laughs> one has money, the other one has... Bat shit crazy ideas. Yes. One has clout. One has clout, one has money. <laughs> yeah, true that. Anyway, uh, Walmart is suing Tesla for negligence after repeated solar system fires. <laughs> repeated. I didn't know there was more than this, one. This is great because Walmart's got a lot of money in Tesla right now. They've yep. got a lot of solar, a lot of battery backup systems, and if I'm not mistaken, they did put down a deposit on this Tesla semis that are never going to happen. Yep. Uh, so this was, I was reading another story related to this. Um about how the state of New York kind of got taken for a ride because <laughs> Tesla wanted to build a gigafactory near Buffalo. And surprise, I mean, why surprise, would you do that? Surprise, surprise, it didn't really work out. But no, this was um, Solar City or whatever, that solar panel company that Elon's relatives or something started. Sure. And he decided that, cool, I'm just going to go ahead and run this thing. And then decided that because solar panel, you know, demand was outpacing supply that, hey, guess what we're going to do? We're going to start building solar panels. Which is like, you know, us suddenly saying, we're going to start manufacturing cars because we talk about them. You know. Wow. Makes perfect sense. We're the perfect exactly. for a terrible vehicle. I mean, yep. I don't know. China's doing pretty good. China's doing a lot of work right now. But, um, China, 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 China. Yep. So, uh, it's like Lewis Black says, what kind of sport do you do where you aspire to be less than shit? And that is that is what that is. We are aspiring to be less than shitty. Yep. Okay. Anyway. That fits. Yeah. Uh, let's see. The lawsuit accuses Tesla of having untrained workers putting up shoddy installation and showering and showing utter incompetence or callousness or both when they were installing solar panels on the roofs of 240 Walmart locations. Uh, there have been fires at seven locations with dozens showing hazardous problems such as loose wiring and, quote, hot spots on panels. Walmart would huh. like Tesla to get these things the fuck off their roof. Okay. Yep. That's, uh... Is that an <laughs> official statement? I hope it is. <laughs> I don't think it is, but... I really want it to be so badly. I would have I would have loved it, but no. So... Somebody in the Walton family needs to just... Just verbatim, just quote that shit. <laughs> I'm here to write your press releases, anybody, if you really want to. We'll do it. I'm available. I will work for cheap. Anyway. Speaking move. of more electronic goodies. Oh, yes. The Germans are doing things. The, the Germans. Germans. <laughs> they, they are forming a unified front. Oh, I remember the last time that happened. Oh, boy. Howdy. <laughs> How well did that work? I remember my first Holocaust. <laughs> <laughs> Holy uh, shit. We just offended everybody. Russia? Winter? Okay, I'm there. Later, once in a while here anyway. So. Wow. Oh, yeah. Anyway, let me scroll down to uh, the thing. Hey, uh, check your messages. I, I prefer not to. Do you? I just did. I don't have anything. Well, anyway. I sent it yet. Uh, You've been sending me stuff? I don't... Going to. Wirtschaft Watch describes a new tie-up that includes Audi, Daimler, and BMW. Oh. Yes, they're teaming up for self-driving car development. The story translated... No, be because North America can't obviously handle this. Listen, nobody can. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the beginning of 2001. The first monkey to pick up a femur bone is going to rule the roost. True. Anyway, trans the story translated from German. As early as mid-September, Audi intends to announce its entry into cooperation with BMW and Daimler at the IAA Motor Show. According to information from the whatever, the three premium car makers will jointly develop autonomous driving cars. Nice. Yep. So there you go, folks. I like it. You'll be hit by something very expensive. I mean, it sounds like it. Yep. Uh, and then uh, sad news. Pour one out. 
Right onto the carpet. Let's <laughs> right. <do> it. <laughs> it's, it's a rental. Fuck it. Uh, Ferdinand Peach, gunned down in his prime, dead at 82. The man who brought us Volkswagen as we know it. And also the Porsche 917 and the Ur Quattro. Ooh. Yes, he collapsed in a restaurant the other night and then was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Oh, no shit. Yep. But yeah, Ferdinand Peach, he's the one who brought all those, like, prestige brands under the Volvo, or under the Volkswagen. Right. So, like. Yeah, Volkswagen AG. So, I mean, you know, yeah. Porsche and Audi and. He's the one who was the, he was CEO when Porsche tried to take over Volkswagen, but then he played it just right. So Porsche couldn't. Ha, you thought <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we're gonna Sorry. we're gonna buy you out, Peach. Oh, about that. Uh, well, let, let me let me tell you about a little something that's a bit tastier than buying us out. Uh, how about we become business partners? <laughs> mm, I'm gonna go ahead and rule over you. Yeah. Thank you. So yeah, for Nan Peach, the man who gave us modern Vol- or Vol- Volkswagen. Uh. Got Volvo in the mind? Yes, I do. Mm. Well, let's just be- get you one. <laughs> it's no. almost happened you, a few you, times. You, you want some of that Chinese bullshit? No, you got to get yeah. one. Ford made them. Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> you mean a bus pass? <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah, do you want? I'd, I'd rather an Aston Martin from that generation. You Ooh. mean a bus pass? <laughs> you mean a month <laughs> subscription? <laughs> Yearly renewal on that bus no, pass, baby. Yeah. What up? Unlimited mile bumper to bumper warranty. <laughs> Bumper to bumper. Bumper to bumper. Bumper to bumper. Bumper to bumper. Top. Bumper to bumper. <laughs> Top to bottom, front I like to back. I can make Joey laugh that easy. Uh, well, hey, here's something that's going to make us all cry. Oh, God. Are we all waiting for a new GTR to be, you know, announced? I mean, no, not, not really. Well, whatever. Some They've had the same thing since, like, what, 2008? Don't negate the premise. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> well, um, the same damn car for 12 years. And it's going to continue being the same goddamn car for the foreseeable future. Ooh, we. Which is kind of a problem because GTR Bosch uh, Hiroshi Tamura is, he says he has one in his head that he has not told anybody about. He hasn't even, like, written it down because he doesn't want somebody stealing the ideas. Okay. That, and that's not how you make things. I mean, no. But yeah, but that's how you keep the bean counters from trashing well, your idea. Yeah, that's how the bean counter keeps you from, from firing you. Exactly. Right. I have ideas that you don't know about. Well, here's the problem. Like, Nissan is not giving him the thumbs up to go ahead and do anything with this. And he's bumping up against mandatory retirement age. So Yeah, they're about oh. to boot him out. Yeah, he's got a few more years before they, you know, give him up watch or... The, he, they will let him retire. Yeah, <laughs> I foresee that happening. That's how Japanese companies work. So, oh, you can retire now. Yeah. They they don't. They're not going to just explicitly just say no. They're just going to let him retire. Well, and they will make their own. Article well, six. remember, maybe a Japanese company, but the French do own a healthy chunk of them. That is true. They yep. are also Renault. Yep. Which uh, yeah, this whole ter- I'm sure that makes that a whole lot better. Oh yeah, I mean this whole like your CEO being ousted. <laughs> You know, oh, God. constantly well, being imprisoned. I game. I was gonna, so you remember that Maldonado site? <laughs> Maldonado has passed or crashed today. It was going to be the same thing, but has Gossen been arrested or let go from prison yet, yet today? Yeah. So, yeah, this whole, like, turmoil that Nissan is currently embroiled in also ain't helping the, uh, the future GTR, whatever the shit it may be. Sure. Yeah. Yep. Or we're not getting it for a while. Oh. So, Mike, I'm looking to buy a new car. What should I buy? You should go buy a Fiat 124 right the fuck now. Like, right now? Right fucking now. Like this exact moment. Throw yes. this fucking chair through this window right now! <laughs> Get out of here, goddammit! <laughs> Why is they giving me the stink eye? God damn! <laughs> no, I say this because uh, in an interview, the CEO of Fiat, and also the man with the most French name I've ever heard in my life, Olivier Francois... <laughs> Fuck. Right? Huh. Uh, yeah, he said that there is no replacement <laughs> Topical for... Topical creams are what come to mind when you say that out loud. <laughs> French Mon- Monty Python sketches with stereotypical French dudes. It puts the lotion on its skin. That was good. That was good? It puts the Please lotion do. on its skin and the rash goes away. <laughs> Did, I Can- you can- the some- Did I say you could use the bomb? Who said you could use the bomb? Excuse me, <laughs> sir. Could I interest you in Thanks, some Mike. Olivier <laughs> Francois? that. Exactly Who said they used the bomb? <laughs> the marshal said use the bomb. Marshal did not say use the bomb. God damn. Anyway, uh, Olivier said that there is no replacement for the one two four when the production ends. Okay. Is the only the Miata. Uh, it 
I mean, the Miata's... No, it's a Fiat! Uh, the two are actually different enough. I mean, it's the same platform, but different engines, transmissions, different. But anyway, and I think the Fiat looks a hell of a lot better. It does. I think we found the 124 fan at the table. Hello! <laughs> Anyway, you just want yourself a Fiat that's not in a Barth. I could buy in a Barth. We're selling I, one at work. You could. You're right. <laughs> for, for the low, low price of ten grand. Oh, yeah. Black. I feel like you could do better. I could do better. Uh, anyway, but are you? <laughs> but would you? <laughs> As I stare longingly at shitbox Toyotas. Like, oh man, another A70 sounds nice right about now. Boy, howdy. <laughs> Sign me up. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, yeah, he said the only reason they did the 124 is because Mazda offered them a platform. And that after this thing is done, they're going to focus on the 500 and the Panda. Of course. Because the Fiat Panda. Because those are the money makers. So Of course it is. The yep. Panda doesn't even fucking come here and it makes money. Yep. So can I, can I mention something real quickly I just found? No. Yeah, what do you got? Um, the 2020 Defender has been leaked. Uh, it's also been spied running around the Nurburgring. No, wait, really? <laughs> yeah. I'm dropping the link in the, the chat Leave right it now. to Land Rover to be but busting it, that bastard around the ring. Hold this up. has a fucking winch in it, which is awesome. Um, it was like someone's Instagram post. It looks like it was out at a off-road day or something. But it looks okay. I don't think it, I don't think it carries the same lineage as the rest of the family. But Do you, do you see it? I do see it. I'm going to click on the link and see if there's a link to uh, the story with the spy photos of it on the fucking Nürburgring in full camo. Yes. Oh, I just found that. Holy shit. Yes. <laughs> what? As in, it's like straight Girth understeering. Yep. Corn beef hash. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. Black coffee and oatmeal. This looks like an LR4, actually, but it looks like not an actual Defender. <laughs> <laughs> they really should just name an SUV one of these days, just the Chevy Corn Beef Hash. <laughs> this uh, video is awesome, by the way. Of, of is it fast? Night. No. Does it go? Yes. <laughs> Can you narrow? <laughs> Unexplained engine fires are a matter for the courts. The Ferd F-10,000. Uh, the only truck that comes with chest hair upholstery oh, and, and an extra beard. beard in the glove box <laughs> in case you lose yours. Hey, I'll, I'll the to U.S. Re- government classifies it as eight tanks. Whatever. Words. <laughs> I need to redact a previous statement. Okay. Trent, I love you. He just responded to me. Duh. Wonderful. He's, he's responded with a level up. Aw. You just grew a fourth ball. Duh. How about my third one? Jeez. Okay. Why anyway. did we Why did we jump? You know what? We're going to go ahead and jump into something less horrifying than <laughs> like uh, our longtime sponsor, Steady Broke Clothing. Oh, you can find them at steadybroke.com and steady.broke on all the social medias. Yep. Social meets. Yep. On the social meets. Heart social meet. And I can get a shirt like, like what you're wearing? Yes. Like I'm wearing the Depresso tee today. Be hey. like unemployed Greg wearing the <laughs> Depresso t shirt. Can I awkwardly <laughs> feel it's... it to see the, the quality of the material? No, you can't. Now, I've washed mine like a dozen or so times now, and it's still just as nice as when I got it out of the package. Yeah, it's still good stuff. It's high quality. The print's not peeling or anything like that. Yeah. You know, it's going to start getting chilly here shortly. Yeah. And uh, they have a really nice hoodie. Mm -hmm. It's the most expensive thing on their site, and it's only $35. But guess what? What's that? We can get it for you cheaper. Holy shit, hit me with the sauce. Uh, We're totally not robbing Tommy, because that's definitely not a thing we're ever going to do. No. But we're going to do the next best thing, give you a coupon code. Coupon codes are basically legal robbery, and I love it. Damn right. Hit me with the code. Cam Auto 15 You punch that in the checkout, you save 15% off your entire order. Shit, yeah. Not just one or two things, but the whole fucking Magilla. Yes. Yup. That's just beautiful. You just grew an eighth ball. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now it's going to be problematic. Wow. <laughs> Can I just have two really big ones like that episode of South Park? Yes. <laughs> just bounce around on them? Yes. All right. Also, yes. Uh, just because you're broke doesn't mean you can't live your dreams. Steadybroke.com. There we go. What was that? What was what? Don't worry about it. Don't ask questions. Just go with it. Why are you going to be all, like, curious and shit? Just yes and. All right? Littering and. Yes, sir. Littering, littering and. and uh, littering and. Uh, candy bars. <laughs> 
candy bars. <laughs> Snowsberries so like snowsberries. <laughs> Ruth, baby. Ruth. <laughs> so, uh, you so, boys uh, like Mexico. Hey, Zach officially hates us. I don't know what's going on. I had a good segue. What did you have? Speaking of Reno. Oh, yeah. Speaking of. Okay. You have no faith in me. I'm ready to me. fucking kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> No, boy, I wish speaking, they'd force me into retirement. Speak, <laughs> On that speaking note, of something that Reno doesn't usually experience, success. Oh, God, what? God <laughs> you damn! Okay, oh, can you get me Br- one of those? Bruto Cardiero got himself three podiums oh, at shit, uh, this yeah. weekend's yeah. Formula Reno Asian Series triple header. <laughs> yeah. Finished second twice, and on the last race of the weekend, brought it home in P1, <laughs> baby. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's pretty sick. That's how we do it. He's <laughs> down. Hey, here you go, asshole. Watch me drink instead of you. Amazing. No, I wasn't going to be like that. I literally didn't hear you. No. Anyway, uh, he's now like within, I think, like 12 points or something of the series leader, Sick. which is good because Just of... kicking ass and taking names. Yep, which is good because he still dreams of F1. And and yeah, and Formula 4 puts you on the, so, the quote-unquote racetrack. Uh, it technically... So I watched a video on this uh, YouTube channel called Chain Bear, which is fun if you want to yep. learn about race car stuff. And also, I believe um, FTF... No, it might have been Chain Bear who did the one I watched as well, too. Did it have the chart? Yeah, the chart. Yeah, I also the, thought, the um, super license points, yeah. Yeah, I also thought um, FTF1 did one as well, too. WTF1. So I, they talked... Yeah. I think they talked about the Verstappen rule, basically. Yeah, because which the, is they, they were like, yeah, dumb 12-year-old Chinese girl is getting oh, points. Yeah, yeah that... Yeah, to get an F one to get an FIA super license, you have to like be able to legally have a driver's license and have forty points towards your super license. Formula E counts. Formula E counts. IndyCar counts. Uh, the WEC counts. Formula Renault counts. So you can race touring cars and Osterizers. Yep. So. And Blintech blenders. Yup. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Formula E now with Blintech. Boy howdy. Well, will it corner? <laughs> will it corner? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> can, can that be a shirt, please? Uh, oh my okay, god. we can make that happen. Will it corner? <laughs> anyway. I'm going to hit Illustrator tonight. I'll, I'll figure something out. Good. I want like a Blintech sideways. Try the corner. <laughs> no, I want a Blintech strapped For- to a fucking um, I'll see Roomba. Formula Roomba. <laughs> uh, has anybody else seen the Michael Reeves video? Yes. He finally makes the, the, the Roomba that just the loses swears. shit. It swears every time. It's the, shit. Or the really cute voice. <clears throat> Ow, the, that fucking hurt like motherfucker. That really, I don't know. Some cute girl on YouTube oh my gets God. to record some crazy shit. I, I also That's like the amazing. one where um, fucking... William uh, Otwood. Let's see. Can I stop you right now? Because I have a very important transition that needs to happen. Moist. Speaking of adorable, cute things, Formula One showed off the half-size model of the 2021 car. Oh my god! The wheels looked weird. They ha- they have hubcaps, yeah. They have hubcaps and they have low profiles. I mean, yeah, they're hubcaps for aerodynamics. Perhaps? Yes. So Ooh, what the 2020 they had that for a couple of years? I know they had that for a couple of years. Right? They had that for a little while back in the double diffuser days. Sure, mm-hmm. because you know, arrow was king, and you know, but um, yeah, they everybody kind of went away with that, so they could have. Uh, like blown axles and just like shoot air out, you know, have a lot of outwash. Right. Which uh, the new cars are not going to have as much because they're mm. trying to get rid of as much over the car arrow. So instead of pushing the car down, they're kind of returning to ground effects, which is sucking the car down. Okay. I yes. like this. I like this. Instead of pressure, vacuum. Yes. I and dig. the reason we went away from it in the 70s and 80s is because the technology wasn't there, so they had to have side skirts. Sure. And everything is great right up until you blow a side skirt off the car. And then it doesn't stick. Yep. So. Well, I want to talk about the fucking tires. Like, Oh, yeah. So they're going to like 18-inch wheels. Yeah. And they're tires. basically going to Rams. racing. Uh, not racing, what do you call it? But like every other series tires. Like yeah. Any one yeah, yeah. This is this is interesting because they've typically had the, the balloon meets yeah. for you know, quite Which some time. I didn't think I'd have an issue with at all. Like I thought it's like whatever, we'll be fine with it. But now I see it. I'm like, oh, it, it looks look, weird. It doesn't look right. It looks time, really weird. The first time I've seen, I saw cars testing the new, you know, the big boy wheels and tires. It looked weird, but the more and more I see it, the less it's, you know. Less. I don't know I've only seen it once now, so I might need oh, more that's, time. Okay, yeah, no, I'm, yeah. I'm seeing this now. That's really just yeah. odd. It's so like if you've seen a modern F1 car, you see, you know, like sidebars. Yeah, I mean. 
well, sidewalls and barge boards and all this crap on top of the car. But with this thing, it's bigger wheels, less elements in the front wing, less crap on top of the car. Like, it is a very simple... Have they given a reason for the bigger wheels, or did you guys just discuss that and I missed um, it? I, no, it's... My understanding is it's a it's manufacturing decision, almost. Yeah, because it's, I mean... They're, they're the only race series that runs the... That water. tiny wheels, big tires. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. So Pirelli's just like, we're getting kind of sick of this. Can we go to something else? Because, like, I think at this point they can almost interchange... Uh, they can use similar compounds as, like, IndyCar stuff. Yeah, like... It's just cost effective. Yeah, you know. it's that's what well, the 2021 regs are going to be about, like trying to, you know, put a cost cap on things, which is going to fuck over, guess who? Renault. Because yeah. they came to the game late as a works team, and so they don't have the facilities that Mercedes and Ferrari and even Red Bull have. So, right, you know. Right, uh, It's going to be crazy. I'd like to see the... Uh, the increase in braking technology with yeah. the uh, additional wheel size now. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they've, they've shoved historically, in. they've shoved an insane amount of brake oh, yeah. inside these wheels. Mm-hmm. I don't even remember what size they are. I know, like, back in the 70s, they were restricted to a 13-inch wheel. I think they were 14 or 15. Are they now? still like around that? that? They're, they're yeah. still pretty They tiny. could even be, like, some metric medium, yeah. I'm sure. But, but yeah, I mean, they've got very regardless. Impre- very impressive brakes in there that do a whole hell of a lot. Yeah. And they're also so. now regenerative as well, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Got the exactly. curve system in there. So. Yep. 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 And, um, Good stuff. Yep. And the cars will oh. be just as fast as they are, just you will actually have people passing without the use of DRS and, you know, safety cars and shit. So it's going to be good yeah. times. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Yeah. And then, you know what else is fun? What's that? Random chaos introduced by somebody changing their fucking Twitter bio. Hold up. Yes. Esteban Ocon, longtime Mercedes driver. He was driving with um, Force India back when they were Force India last year. Right. But then the billionaire's kid needed a, a seat when the billionaire bought the team, so Esteban was out. Right. So uh, he's been just kind of waiting in the wings, waiting to see if Mercedes re-signs Valtteri Botas, seeing what happens. And then the other day... He changes his Twitter bio from test driver to F1 driver. And as WTF1 put on their social medias, just that Charlie did. Yeah, just here's everybody. Yeah. (laughs) Wow. Yeah. Yeah, everybody, God. everybody's trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. Uh, there's a poorly sourced rumor saying that he's going to Renault, but, again, poorly sourced rumor. So the best kind of rumors. Yep. Um, and it's really, like, a terrible rumor because Renault has said, yes, we're going to keep both of our current drivers. So, you know. Huh. Yep. Okay, then. All righty. So, there we go. That's an episode. Wow, with 20 minutes left. Really? Yeah. Man, this is weird. We don't have a lot. It, it felt like we covered a lot, though. Yeah, we did. I mean, like, yeah. We covered a whole hell of a lot. Huh. Hey, can, I, can I read this excerpt from uh, this fan fiction? Please. Please do. <laughs> <laughs> He's seen it. <laughs> I've seen at least one thing from it, and it is majestic. Well, I, for some reason, the and link... very moist. The thing is, the link isn't letting me open the whole moist? article. So I'm, I'm only able to, to read the synopsis. Terramasalata. <laughs> Oh, God, I miss BRB UK. Uh, me too. I miss having a job where I could listen to podcasts. Same wow. here. Anyway. Terry sexually manipulates Adam. Adam loathes himself too much to care. Hold up. No. It's a real thing. No. Oh, sweet, merciful Jesus. It's called a cracked polyester man. What? But for some reason, it's not letting me open the full thing, so I can't read the whole thing. I think that's oh, because it, because it has adult content. Let me hit proceed. Oh, oh, oh thank God. Please proceed. We are all adults? Oh, Question oh, God. oh, God. I can't even read this out loud. Hold on. Oh, I can God, help. Is, I can help. I can help. I can this help. is bearstory.txt all over again. No, this Dave, is, we got through part of that. Yeah, I got this. <laughs> oh, God. Just read that first <laughs> line. Fuck. I can't even do it. Would you like <clears> me to read it? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be Dave or, Dave or me. Defeater of BearStory.txt, oh, Dave Raleigh. <laughs> I couldn't do it. <sighs> I'm going to read this in my daddy voice. 
<laughs> I have too much respect for these real people. Adam's been fucking around with Carrie for a month now, which is a long time for Carrie to fuck around with any one person. Not to suggest that he's the only person she's been fucking. But it's been so beautiful. And you know that <laughs> what they say about beautiful things, they're ephemeral. They grace your life with their presence, then leave a hole in you when they're torn out. <laughs> Fucking Jamie, it's all his fault. He's only satisfied when Adam's miserable, so he must be bloated with satisfaction. God, I hate Jamie. What a fucking dick. God, I wish I think I, I wish I felt like these fanfic writers do. But it's Carrie's fault too. God, fucking tease. How dare you? Acting like she's Carrie. beneath her. Asking like acting like he's beneath her. Excuse me. Just this week's novelty to be used, then thrown away with equal enthusiasm. But she's young, <laughs> just sowing her wild oats. To the dumpster with you, bitch. <laughs> He can't really blame her. He really is beneath her. Giggity? <laughs> <laughs> For those who don't know literature, that is what we call a double entendre. Double entendre! God, I wish I took I, a... I'm not entirely sure I want to keep reading this. I don't think so either. I really wish I took a creative writing course at the Adult Learning Act. Oh, God! <laughs> Where, where are you? Hold up. Okay, show me where's your spot. Show, me, show me on the. Show me where the internet touched you. There, there you this paragraph. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know if I can keep a straight face for this. But that's what makes the sex so edifying. <laughs> it's that feeling of stealing a taste of something that's destined for better men, like hugging your older brother's football trophy to your chest, knowing that that glory will never be yours, but happy to hold something tangible and imagine what that you could. Like somebody Adam could lose himself right in there. those moments. Adam does lose himself in those moments. What the and not fuck to mention, find? the sex was great. A terrible kind of great, which is always better than the conventional kind of great. Check this. The first time he and Carrie fucked was on a sawdust-strewn workbench. It hurt Adam's knees, actually, to have, the, to have his patelle pressed against the wood with nothing but a thin sheet of skin to cushion it. But he was so horny... <laughs> Someone, someone wrote this. Joey's down. Joey's on the floor, and I need a cigarette. <laughs> All right. Well, let's, let's land this. What ended there? Let's land this puppy. Thank you for joining 14 us. Fourteen minutes left. It's a short one, and it ends on such a raunchy level. Oh God! Don't worry. We've got some novels to read in episode two twenty two. God. Damn. Damn. Thank you for joining us on this. Uh... <laughs> Holy. Uh, well, I, I mean, Joey's out. Yep, he's done. I couldn't keep it. <laughs> it just happened. It's a, it explosive. It's, oh, my God. It's okay. It happens to everybody, it happens to everybody every now and again. I'm just going to be over here sipping my tea. Do you want me to end this? I mean, we're got to. I'm trying you, to end you got this. Things, okay. do, do your things. Yeah, I'm trying to do this. I'm crying. Thank oh. you for joining us on episode two twenty one. Th- thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us and on I, most of episode two twenty one. I'm sorry for the last. I'm sorry for the last eight minutes. I am so very sorry. So I'm sorry. not. <laughs> You're however, fucking welcome. However, if you liked anything that you heard in those last eight minutes, please drop us a line. Mailbag camp. I will send you the link to this shit. God in heaven. Yeah, we'll send you the link to it. We want to see your videos of you trying to read this shit with a straight face. I mean, if you want to read bearfantasy.txt or the Neg Paws the, story, I like I had to hit up Joshua shit. Hadlock. We need to get Hadlock on here. Yeah, we do. Oh, oh my Christ, God, we, we need him Hadlock. on here. Oh God, here. this guy has a photo. He's just <laughs> recently changed uh, changed directions in his career. Really? Yeah, he left Specialties Auto. Oh. He's working at a <laughs> semi-dealership now. Okay. That's the man. And yeah, no shit, that Dear dude's God. writing Mythbusters fanfic. What? This, this isn't literature. Do you hurt yourself too, Larry? This isn't literature. This is porn. <laughs> he has a Zelda one? But my, literature, <laughs> but my pornography is very literary. Another anyway. one with Johnny Depp? Nope. We're just going to go ahead and ask you to <laughs> third with Johnny Depp. <laughs> oh, does somebody Peter like Johnny Pan? Depp? Someone like Peter Pan? Tell me, tell me why, why, is, why is the rum gone? 
<laughs> this one involves the Welsh. It gives what? it gives you uh, like um, like, like a, <laughs> a fanfic including Johnny Depp and the Welsh. <laughs> well, so it gives <laughs> you like a, like a little like as tags. Someone, as someone who knows Welsh people, I'm offended on their behalf. Uh, Welshman and Welshwoman. Oh God, this one involves <laughs> Welsh um, Welsh Rupert uh, <laughs> Rupert Giles. Rupert Giles. Okay. Uh, uh, how about can, can we can we have a fan fiction with with Peter Griffin? It's already out there. Anyway. Oh boy, is it. God damn it. Uh, support us on Patreon against your better decisions. <laughs> yep. You guys talking about Ted? Patreon.com slash Cam Automag. Give us mm. at least $5 a month. We'll keep giving you this hotness. <laughs> I feel like we're going to be losing Patreons. After Whatever. That. Thanks, Joey. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> we tried. We had a good time. You guys agreed to me being here, so. Yes, we did. You knew it was coming. The anyway. next episode's going to be amazing. <laughs> Follow us on all the social medias. We are at Cam Automag on the lot of them. Mm-hmm. Find this podcast if you haven't already, wherever you get your <laughs> podcasts. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, like, rate, review specifically this episode. God. Holy shit, I want to know what you think. And again, mailbag at camautomag.com. But he was so horny. He was so, <laughs> he was horny. so, he was so fucking horny. <laughs> that just the thought of that workbench digging into his knees. A sawdust strewn workbench. <laughs> the next line was literally, like he cared. Jesus fucking line. Christ. I want to meet this man and punch him in the mouth. Uh, this was written in 2008, by the way. I don't know. He'd probably like it. I want to find this man and give him... I like, just want to fight this human being. Oh, God. <laughs> it gets worse. So so the reason why I picked that one was the tags. How does it get worse? Okay, no, hold on. Stop. So, so here, here just are... <laughs> stop. Can we park this? Sure. It's time. It, it is, is time, time to it's stop. It's time to stop. Stop! Uh, for episode 221 of the Camcast, I have been Mike. I've been Dave. I've been Zach. I've been Dale Jr. Uh. Attaboy. Do you think anybody noticed we don't have a soundboard? <laughs>